Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a super easy uh, knitting stitch. And I'm going to be using this yarn, Red Heart with Love. And the recommendation is recommending, um, what's happening here? Recommending a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle, but for this tutorial, you need a bigger, bigger knitting needle. So I have the seven here. I thought I had a six, but I couldn't find it. Anyways, so I am going to uh, cast on um, a couple of st stitches and we'll get started with the stitch. And the stitch is the herring, herringbone stitch. Uh, for crocheters, I do have a tutorial for the herringbone stitch. If you want to go to my videos and then type in herringbone, I do have the tutorial for that. But for today, it's going to be a knitting tutorial, and it's super easy, and I just had to share it with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to cast on a couple of stitches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a cast on total of 36 stitches. I'm planning to make a scarf for the home scarf for the homeless and uh, this is the right side of the work and this is the wrong side so my tail is facing my my right side so I'm going to start the stitch right away I am planning to make a cowl for myself and um, and I will come to show you how uh, to knit it in around around so uh, stay tuned for that tutorial as well I have the yarn I just needed to find out uh, which stitch to knit it with or crochet it with and I just love this uh, the way this looks okay so uh, right away we're starting so we, I grab the two stitches and I purl yarn on the front and I purl it like this okay and then what I do is I let go this down okay and what I do is I continue continue knitting yarn on the front and I knit again I put the put the stitch back here and I knit them together okay just like this knit like this but what I do is I let this stitch go so we're not doing any increases okay and then I repeat this I knit these two together okay and I let this one go okay, and automatically you will see the pattern the stitch is becoming so like this is the half of the herring bone stitch you know we, then we need to knit uh, the other side to create the stitch so we need to knit two rows to make the stitch okay, and I just repeat this over and over to knit together and I take this out and I automatically let this go and knit two together and I let the stitch go so what I'm basically doing is I am knitting this uh, stitch two times can you see okay so this one I'm knitting and I'm letting this go so again I'm gonna knit this to two like the second time and on the third I let it go okay and then this is how the stitch becomes that's the reason we need a bigger knitting needle because it gets a little bit tight. I can feel it. It's getting tight even uh, uh, using a bigger knitting needle. So just be cautious. Uh, the yarn uh, label recommends a 5.5 and I'm using a 7 and I still, I can, um, I can feel that it's getting tight. This is uh, here right here. It's tight. Okay, so I just repeat this over and over until I come to the last last uh, last stitch okay it's gonna take me a while so I will knit and I will come to the end and I will show you how to finish it up again this is the wrong side of the work but the two sides look will look fantastic okay so I will be right back Okay, so I'm at the end here. I'm going almost finished. So what I do is I knit these two together. And I let this go. 
and I knit these two together. Okay, and I let this one go, and at the end, I knit this one, the last stitch again, purlwise yarn on the front. Okay, so we're going to start doing the right side of the work. So when we're doing the right side, we're going to be knitting yarn on the back. On the ba wrong side, we did purl, okay? And on the right side, we're going to do knit. Okay, so we're going to repeat it, and again, we're going to knit two, two, two. I think this is the easiest stitch that I can be out there. Okay, so here we go. Knit two together, and let this fellow go. Knit two together. Let that one go. Knit two together. Oops. <laughs> and let this one. So we're repeating it, but we're knit, doing it knit wise. The other wrong side was purl wise. Let this one go. Always let the other stitch go. Then we let this go. Two together. Oops. Oh. Here we go. Oops, I let two to go. <laughs> we need one to go. Okay, this is how it looks like so far. And this is the wrong side. So uh, the more we knit, the more the stitch will come. Okay, and then we just repeat it. Go. So easy. And it's fun, actually, especially when you're using variegated yarn. You know, the design, different design comes out. And I really like this yarn, and it's like short, variegated um, colors. So, uh, yeah. So I am going to finish this row. Uh, just like this, and I will, will meet you at the end, and we'll, I will show you how to finish the last uh, two stitches. Just to point out, uh, when, when, when I was knitting the wrong side, it was tight. But when I'm knitting the right side, it's not that tight at all for some reason. Maybe the way the knit stitch is becoming. Okay, so I'm at the end again. And uh, what I'm going to do is, oops, I'm going to knit these two together. Uh, you can knit, maybe you're knitting it differently. This is how I knit, and uh, you automatically you let go of the other stitch, and then you knit these two together, let go that stitch, and then at the end, as we did the purl, we just knit that last one just to secure it, and then here is the stitch. So it will, this is the wrong side, okay, and this is the right side. Okay, and you, we just repeat it over and over until the length you, you need. Okay, so I am going to show you one more time how to knit the wrong side. So we knit these two stitches together and try to knit as loose as you can because uh, the nature of the stitch, it does uh, tight, it tightens up. Yeah. Okay, so we knit these two together and then I let this go. Knit two together. Again, try to knit as loose as you can. Knit. Let that go. And I just repeat this two rows over and over. So, see how easy it is? <laughs> oh, you guys are going to love the stitch. You can make baby blankets. Again, I'm going to make a cowl. I'm going to knit this in around, and I will do the tutorial to give you guys an idea. And I do have the crochet version. So uh, uh, you can... Uh, Go and check that out or i'll try to pin it then you can see it and this is all we do it's so easy and i just love the texture years ago over a decade ago i did knit uh cowls and uh i sold them at my uh, local uh when i was in penticton bc living there we lived about three years and they sold crazy the cowls that i made oh yeah so a uh, highly recommend you can make hats and 
and uh, let's go on. Okay, so I'll be right back. I will show you the end and I will show you one more time how to start, how to knit from the front. And uh, this is all to it. Okay, so I'm at the end again. I knit these two stitches and let that one go. Knit these last two stitches. And let that go and then knit again this last stitch and ta-da see <laughs> okay and then uh, start knitting the this is the right side and again uh, it's uh, the two sides are different but it gives you that nice uh, look right so that's what we're aiming for and I would love to have two sides different or sometimes same but um, yeah and this is all to it see how easy it is Sometimes the two stitches let go, but uh, just grab that one back again. I do it this way. You can do it this way as well. From the back, grab it from the back. And then... Let that one go. It's the same way. It's like twisting a, twisting the yarn. Like this. Okay, you can let it go just like this. See. So I will uh, I will come to the end and after that I will uh, knit a couple of rows just to show you how it looks like. But uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, before I come to the end, I just want to let you know um, the way you knit totally changes the stitch. Can you see how I was picking up? See. So I would highly recommend you to pick it from, instead of doing it this way, do it this way from uh, from your right side to your left, grabbing it from the back, because that changes totally the stitch. So uh, you need to grab it from, the, from your right side to the left, from the back like this, to uh, knit. I usually do it this way but uh yeah so do it this way to, to knit this stitch other than that it gives you that uh, different look and it gives you like an arrow can you see the arrow like it's, it's like an arrow <laughs> yeah I'm planning to make a baby blanket with the stitch as well. I have so much. Oops, I went up. I keep on going up. Actually, I'm on my uh, middle of my camera. But uh, when I post this, when I load this on uh, uh, YouTube, for some reason, it, it, it shows up. Yeah, so uh, I always try to pull it down. Like right now, I'm, I'm at uh, way down on my camera. I do apologize. I noticed this just recently when I was doing tutorials because uh, I never go up. But uh, for some reason, uh, when I posted uh, the tutorial on YouTube, it shows it's off camera. Yeah. Finally, I figured it out. So uh, YouTube must be cutting. I don't know cutting it. How I'm because I'm uh, posting it directly from my camera. Okay, so this is how it looks like. This is what we're looking for. Can you see? Yeah. And uh, I knit the last two stitches. 
You can make fringes if you're planning to make a blank uh, scarf. And let this go. Knit two together. And let this go. And knit this two together. So I will uh, knit a couple of rows just to give you an idea how it looks like. It's just a herring, herringbone stitch. And uh, I'll be right back. I, uh, I'm always looking for an easy way for you guys to create something from another kind. Okay, so I, I knit four more rows. And ta-da! Can you see? Can you see? Oh my goodness! It, but uh, I would highly recommend you, when you're knitting the uh, from the front, see how I did it at the beginning, the two rows? That's wrong. So don't knit it that way. And I do get this comment a lot. Oh, this host doesn't know how to knit. This host doesn't know how to crochet. This is the reason I do this in pur uh, purposely, just for you guys to see how not what not to do and what to do <laughs> um i've been doing this since 2009 and uh, i do get comments are you a teacher have you taught before yes i i i did taught and uh voluntarily i did teach and um that's the reason i opened my youtube channel because i don't get paid for what i do right uh, but lately I've been, um, I had, I monetized my tutorials because I, I had no clue that I would get paid. So um, now I can buy yarn with that money that I make, right? <laughs> so uh, stay, yeah, stay tuned for my yarn hauls. I'm going to be, well, I, I think there's about five kilogram that I have uh, uh, bought from uh, Iplik Outlet. So more I am uh, trying to aim for. But this is how the stitch is knit and that's what my um, I'm buying yarn yeah yeah you need to buy yarn to make tutorials that's another thing right okay here we go so remember at the beginning I showed it this way yeah don't do it that way because that will not create the stitch grab it from your right from the back to left and then grab that yarn and let that go. So the way you're going to pick up the stitches is this way. That's the only way you can knit the stitch. Otherwise, it will not create the uh, herringbone stitch. Okay, and it's so easy. You just knit two together and let the, uh, the stitch go. And again, this is how it looks like. See? At the beginning, I didn't pick up the stitch that way, so it created a total different stitch. You can make something with this stitch even. Why not? A crochet stitch, but this is what we're aiming for, right? This is what we're aiming for. Okay. You can let the two go, but you can automatically grab it from here, and then you won't lose anything. See? Yeah. Oops. See, you can let it go and then you can grab this one back and then automatically knit two together let it go that's another way oops my uh to have too many stitches and this is here's another way you can knit if you if you yeah let it go and grab this one just like this just love it love it love it and i had to share it with you guys Just like this. Yeah, I'm going to knit a couple of more rows and I'll be back. I just wanted to show that you need to knit knit it like this. The purl is no problem. It's the way that you you have you pick up the stitch for the knitting, not from here, because it twists the stitch. Grab it from like this, just like that, just like this. Okay. 
And when you come to the end, to the last uh, end, what you do is you knit two together, let one go and knit that last one again. Okay, I just wanted to show you how to finish the rows because lots of people will, I know lots of people will get confused because when I was new, I would always get confused and uh, I was so uh, lucky to have people surrounded who who knows how to knit and crochet i would just uh you know go to my neighbor and ask because we did not have youtube then right when uh in the 80s when i was a kid yeah we did not have you we had no internet there was no internet then no cell phone nothing yeah especially living in the third country when i was a teenager uh Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy, but we had nice people those days, nice neighbors, nice people who were loving and caring. Uh, but I'm hearing that it's not the way that it used to be anymore, unfortunately. The world has changed, especially with the COVID going on for two years. It's just uh, people has been changing a lot. Okay, so uh, here we go. Knit two together, let that go, knit two together, let one stitch go, and this last one we knit again. So I just wanted to show you one more time. And ta-da, doesn't this look nice? And it's so tight. But I think you need a bigger knitting needle because even the seven is, uh, it's, it's tight when this washes. Uh, it will not stretch at all, not at all. It, it is tight. But I just love, love, love how this looks. See? Okay. It looks like an arrow. Can you see the arrow? Yeah. See the difference when you don't knit it the proper way? And then when you knit the proper way, it just gives you that nice texture. And this is the wrong side. It looks like the Tunisian, Tunisian uh, stitch. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to knit a couple of rows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have knitted a couple of rows and this is how it looks like so far. The yarn is pooling as you can see and it looks just fantastic. Here's a close-up look. And here's the back, see? So it gives a totally different look. This would be perfect for baby blankets, blankets, throws. Yeah, even for hats, think about it. Think about for a hat. Hmm. It's uh, endless. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that, uh, no, that notification bell. Every time I post a video, you will be notified. So happy, happy knitting, happy. Take care, everybody.